Will, we have a question from Will. A couple of my personal training clients seem to struggle with maintaining a neutral pelvis during loaded lower body movements, usually spilling into an anterior tilt. Okay, even if they seem otherwise competent at bracing and the typical cues don't seem to be landing. I recently stumbled upon your video dealing, uh, detailing the goat bag swing, and I'm considering its application yeah, as prioceptive teaching tool for the exact issue. Is this the best corrective? So when you're doing the goat bag swing, you take the load and you stick it on your stomach so that the, so that the client, the athlete, can feel that ab pressure, which makes you light up. I also have a drill called the magic drill where we put the glute loop around the knees and they have to push their knees out to do Bulgarian goat bags. And you're right. It is just having the person feel what we're trying to say. I think there's real value um, for many people. Oh, here's my dog in marching in place uh, in the suitcase carry uh, and then play around with speed. So you can go boom, 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 and then slow it down and stop. If you Google my name and vertical bird dog, I have a lot more on that. But what's nice about that is marching in place. When you march in place, by the way, you have to bring that. Every rep brings that, uh, the pelvic bowl underneath you. I don't know how well I'm saying that, but you know, it, uh, you, you're standing tall and every, every step, the, the bowl comes underneath. Uh, we're working on an exercise. Uh, a friend of mine has called it lead foot. Uh, it's when you stand in a box and then you, you, you pick up a kettlebell with your, with your foot, a light kettlebell with your foot. Okay. So I've got, here's my foot and here's the handle, the kettlebell, the horns are here and the, uh, the bells underneath light kettlebell. And then you do, uh, 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 uh standing, uh, knee lift. And that might help some of your, cause what had to do that, you have to flex, of course, you have to flex the anterior tibias or something like that. And then you have to make sure the psoas is wide awake. And as you pull it up, everything's going to rotate underneath it under load. So, yeah, so adding the glute loop uh, in anything. I mean, add the glute loop to goblet squats. Add the glute loop to Bulgarian goat bag swings. Uh, suitcase carry, march in place. And then try the lead foot drill. Uh those are all pretty good ideas. Thanks for asking.